on in, make yourself at home. Everybody's welcome at Kadoody, oh yeah. We're gonna sing and we're gonna read the word. All of it is worship when we do it for the Lord. Yeah. Clap your hands with me. Stomp your feet to the beat. Jump. Hi kiddos, I'm Kristen. I'm so glad you're here. We're in a series called Ollie's Orchard. We're learning about a special kind of fruit called the fruit of the spirit. These aren't fruits that we eat like apples and oranges. Instead, we're talking about the fruit that grows in our lives when we follow God. Things like love, joy, and peace. Today, we're talking about the fruit of peace. Peace is feeling calm inside instead of being worried, angry, or afraid. Jesus can help us have peace when we remember that he's always with us. Let's get started by practicing our big idea. That's the super important thing we're learning about today. Excuse me, but what's the big idea? The big idea is Jesus gives me peace. Now let's stand up and practice the big idea together. I'll say a part first and you can repeat after me. Ready? The big idea. Jesus gives me peace. Great job. Turn around. And now let's say the big idea all together in our roaring lion voices. Ready? Rawr, rawr, rawr. The big idea. Rawr. Jesus gives me peace. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Great job. Turn around. This time, let's say the big idea in our squeaky mouse voices. Ready? The big idea. Jesus gives me peace. Awesome. Turn around. And now let's say it again in our tweeting bird voices. Ready? Tweet, 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 tweet. The big idea. Tweet, 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 tweet. Jesus gives me peace. Tweet, 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 tweet. Great job, kiddos. Now we get to add an apple to our tree. Before we do, our forest friend Ollie the Owl has a question we need to answer all about peace. It says, Ollie is afraid to go to the dentist. Is it peaceful to keep worrying about it or to remember Jesus is with him? Hmm, what do you think, kiddos? I think you're right. Remembering Jesus is with Ollie can help him have peace. Let's add our apple to the tree. Well, next, we get to learn more about peace by going on a Bible adventure. It's time for a Bible adventure. Oh, way, oh, oh, way, oh. Here we go. <laughs> the Bible is the greatest book ever. It's full of words from God. There are also true stories in the Bible that can help us learn more about the fruit of the Spirit. Today, we get to read a story about a time when Jesus gave his disciples peace. Jesus was standing on the seashore teaching large crowds of people about God. When it started to get dark outside, Jesus looked at his disciples and said, Let's get in a boat and go to the other side of this big lake. So they all climbed into a boat. 
Jesus was so tired that he fell asleep. Suddenly, a huge storm came up. The waves were big and they crashed against the side of the boat. The boat began to fill with water and the disciples were afraid. This boat is going to sink, they cried. The disciples looked over at Jesus and he was still sleeping. How could Jesus sleep when there was a big and scary storm? The disciples ran over to Jesus, yelling, Wake up! The boat is sinking! Don't you care? Jesus did care about the disciples. He got up and told the wind and the waves to be still. When Jesus spoke, the storm stopped and everything was peaceful. Then Jesus asked his disciples, Why were you so afraid? Did you forget who I am? The disciples were amazed at what they had seen. Great listening, kiddos! When the disciples felt afraid, Jesus gave them peace by calming the storm and helping them know he was with them. Jesus can give us peace too. We can remember that Jesus is always with us and he will help us. Well, now it's time to add another apple to our tree. Before we do, Ollie the Owl has another question for us. How can Ollie be peaceful at home? By yelling at his grown-ups to give him a snack or by asking for a snack in a calm voice? Hmm, what do you think, kiddos? Yes, using a calm voice instead of yelling is a way to be peaceful. Great job. Let's put our apple on the tree. Well, now it's time for us to practice our memory verse. Memory verse, memory verse. You can remember the memory verse. Say, hey, hey! Our memory verse comes from the Bible. This one is all about the fruit of the Spirit that God grows in our lives when we follow Him. It goes like this. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the fruit the Holy Spirit produces is love, joy, and peace. It is being patient, kind, and good. It's being faithful and gentle and having self-control. Great job, kiddos. This time, let's sing the verse again in our super quiet whisper voices. Are you ready? Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the fruit the Holy Spirit produces is love, joy, and peace. It is being patient, kind, and good. It's being faithful and gentle and having self-control. Great job singing, kiddos. This time, let's sing the verse again in our super loud shouting voices. Ready? Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the fruit the Holy Spirit produces is love, joy, and peace. It is being patient, kind, and good. It's being faithful and gentle. Awesome job practicing our memory verse. You can stay standing because now we're going to sing a song together all about our super wonderful God. My God is strong. He'll do anything big or small. Nothing is impossible.
Awesome singing! You can sit down. Now it's time to put our final apple on the tree. But before we do, we need to answer Ollie the Owl's question about peace. Ollie is wondering, what is more peaceful? Getting mad when a toy doesn't work or asking someone for help? What do you think, kiddos? I think you're right. Asking for help instead of getting mad is a way to be peaceful. Let's put our apple on the tree. Well, now it's time to head over to Ollie's Orchard and try out what we've been learning today. Try it out. Try it out. You'll never know until you try it out. That's right! We're here at Ollie's Orchard learning all about the Fruit of the Spirit. Do you remember what Fruit of the Spirit we're learning about today, kiddos? Yes, it's peace. Ollie's Orchard is really peaceful right now, isn't it? Can you put your hands up to your ears and listen, kiddos? Do you hear super loud noises? Or is it calm and peaceful? Yeah, it's really peaceful out here. All I can hear is a little bit of wind as it blows. Now, can you take out your special binoculars and look around the orchard, kiddos? Does it look like a big storm is happening? Or does it look calm and peaceful? Yeah, it looks really peaceful. The trees are still and there isn't any rain. In our Bible adventure story today, we heard a story about a time when things didn't start very peaceful. The disciples were in a boat in the middle of the lake when a huge storm came. The wind was strong and the waves were big. The boat started filling up with water and the disciples were so scared. Can you make a face like you're scared, kiddos? When we feel scared, worried, or afraid, that's the opposite of being peaceful. It can kind of feel like there's a storm inside of us. Jesus wants to give us peace. Jesus wants us to know that he's with us and he can help us through anything. So let's try this out. I'm going to show you two pictures and I want you to point to which one is more peaceful. Which is more peaceful? Yelling at your friend or talking calmly with your friend? If you said talking calmly, you're right. That's peaceful. What's more peaceful? Praying and asking Jesus to help you or worrying about going to the dentist? Yes, if you said praying, you're right. We can always pray and ask Jesus to help us whenever we feel worried. How did the kiddos do, Ollie? Great job, kiddos. Remember, we'll all feel worried, afraid, or angry sometimes, but Jesus can help give us peace. Well, I'm going to keep enjoying this peaceful orchard right now, but I'll see you next time. I'm so glad that Jesus is always with us and can give us peace. Now let's celebrate all we learned today by standing up and going Kidawampus together. It's time for Kidawampus. Let's go Kidawampus. It's time for Kidawampus. Let's jump around a Kidawampus. Singing it's time for Kidawampus. Let's go Kidawampus. It's time for Kidawampus. Let's jump around a Kidawampus. Singing Kid. Oh, Wampus, kid, oh, Wampus, what, kid, oh, Wampus, let's jump around the kid, oh, Wampus. It's time for Speedy Kiddos. When different objects come up on the screen, pretend you're riding them. Ready, set, go! Pogo stick.
It's surfing time! Hop on a horse! Let's race our race cars! Start your airplane! Ready for takeoff? Let's fly! Excellent! Way to go! That was a super fun kid of Wampus. You can sit down because now it's time to talk to God. We can pray anytime and anywhere. God is always listening to us. Right now, let's fold our hands and close our eyes so we can focus on what we're saying to God. If you want, you can repeat after me. Dear God, we love you. Thank you for loving us. Help us to be peaceful. Amen. Well, I've had so much fun with you today, kiddos. Remember that God loves you and is always with you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.